to Ottawa X. I'm Moira Hutchison, hypnotherapist and life coach. And my website to find out a wee bit more about what I do is wellnesswithmoira.com. And I'm here today with my wonderful guest, Anne Max, and we're talking about coaching and how it helps with pretty much all aspects of your life, but you just have to get clear about what it is that you're looking for a coach for. Yes. So you know we were talking, uh, we were actually talking a wee bit in the break mm -hmm. about how do you pick a coach? You know, it's one thing to say coaching is, is quite a new, well, it's not really new. I mean, it's been around for eons. It's just, just different it's, names. It's just, just different names, but it's actually becoming more um, acknowledged as it's, it's all about empowering the person to find the solutions within. Because right. truth is, we actually all do have the, the, the answers inside of us. So as a coach, my job is to help people figure that out and to actually help them reflect on where they are. So what would you say, Anne, is a, a, a good tip or t set of tips on how somebody should vet or, or figure out what kind of coach is best for them? Well, um, they, they, first of all, they have to be open to coaching, mm -hmm. okay? Yes, and be coachable. Be coachable. <laughs> um, you'll have, you know, I don't know about you, but sometimes I'll get calls from people saying, oh, my wife needs coaching. Yeah, and I'll I've say, well, does she know she needs coaching? <laughs> no. Okay. So you go and talk to her, and if she wants to call me, but until she really is open to coaching, yeah. uh, it's not going to work out. So you've yeah, got to be open to really coaching. Important. And you also should, should really take a time, and of course, being a productivity coach, I tell everybody to write everything down. What is it you actually need? Like, where are you now? Where do you want to go? Do you want to have more time? Yeah. Do you want to have more life balance? Um, uh, do you want to be a better mother to your kids? What do you want to do? Because at different aspects of our life, we are in different areas. Mm -hmm. And once you do that, um, you need to uh, go on the website, find out, you know, look up the coaches, the type that goes, what is difficult also is that we overlap each other. Yeah, a in a, in a we lot. all do, really. We all do yeah, in yeah. a way. So if, for example, you know, you find more of what you need is more of, um, you know, obstacles to time and life balance, then you want a productivity coach. Mm -hmm. But if your needs lean more towards... Um, Getting meaning in your life. That's right. So maybe you need someone like Moira. Yeah. Um, there are career coaches. There's some fascinating coaches, which we're going to meet at Coach Expo. That's right. So, um, you know, say, sort of try to define the type of coach you would like. And just go on the website, and they'll tell you the different types of coaches. Mm -hmm. So say I'm looking for a productivity coach, and type in productivity coach. Mm -hmm. And you'll get some names, okay? So the first thing you have to decide is, um, um, you know, does the person live near you? Do you want a woman or a man? Makes a difference. That's an important part too. Very important yep. part. How old is the coach? So are they very experienced? Uh, are they, you know, are they younger? Mm -hmm. If you want someone who's very, you know, you have to be at that state. If you want someone more experienced, you want someone younger. Um, and then I would say pick three names, interview these people, and really ask for at least three references. Well, also really. the other part too is most coaches do offer a free strategy yes, like session I do. or coaching, as I do too. Mm -hmm. um, to me, that's a really awesome way because intuitively you're going to know who clicks. So I love that idea about getting three. Yeah. But but I've often told people that that go and sit with that person. Oh, do definitely. they make you feel comfortable? Are you capable of bringing up the uncomfortable stuff? Yes. Because you, in with a coach, you want to, to have all of it out there. Yeah. You can't be sitting, oh, I can't tell her about that, because what's she going to think about me? If you have any of that, that... It's throwing good money after bad. Absolutely. It's not, it's not absolutely. Good. Yeah. And, and you can get a sense with that just in one session. You can, you can feel that. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And different people relate differently to, to you know, you have to feel safe. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have to feel uh, supported. Absolutely. Uh, and and I, you know, you want to feel that w after you've spoken to this person, I feel better already. I mean, yes. I hear that all the time. I do too. And actually. is that ever nice? <laughs> it's lovely. Okay. That's so so nice. if you feel better already and you feel you're going to come back to a safe environment, yes. by all means, then choose that person. Absolutely. Now, sometimes it starts off well, and then it sort of takes a turn where you're not comfortable. 
and both you and the coach should have a relationship where you can openly talk yep. and if it becomes uncomfortable then you want to part ways or go to someone else. Although um, having said that sometimes that uncomfortableness is important for you to sit in because sometimes that's when you're starting to get into the real root. That's very and true. And so therefore you're actually getting triggered. So I really like to invite people to sit in that uncomfortableness and embrace it. Yeah. And I, I depends on the reason. It for does it. depend on the reason. So you have to be really, really, um, s you know, very, very uh, aware mm -hmm. of the process, but also like at the first sign of discomfort, either for for you as the coach or the client. Of course. Because I, I don't know about you, but there's sometimes stuff comes up to deal with in a client. I think, oh look at. That's just being presented because I need to do something here. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So and it depends on what the yeah, reason is, definitely. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely a relationship that, for, for me, it provides lots of, of inner growth for me, too, mm -hmm. which, which I love the challenge of it. Me, too. I learned so yeah. much from, from my clients. Yeah. I love them to death, and I really learned so much, and that makes me a better coach. Um, so what you have to be aware of is the silver-tongued people you meet at a networking event. Yes. Um, who, uh, you know, depending on how they ask you what you need, they, it's like the elephant, I'll offer anything. So if you need this, yeah. oh, I can do that. And if you need yeah. this, I can do that. That's why you have to really define what you need yeah. before you even talk to anybody. Absolutely. And don't sign any kind of a contract until you're very sure that this is the person you want and that you can get out of it. Because I think any coach... Um, who is worth their salt will say if you really if we really don't click yeah. then, then you're not you can be held. Then that happens with me so um, don't get signed on to a, a long contract because sometimes it just doesn't work out absolutely yeah. I, I for myself I like the, the idea of, of contracts because it invests me in my client mm -hmm. and it invests the client into getting through what's got them stuck right but at the not same the time at the not a really long one, um, although sometimes there's places for that after you've worked with somebody for say three months. Oh, well, that's different. Then, then you know, mm -hmm. you know, like you know, this is the quality of, of results I'm getting, and this is where I want to go. Because there's a, a process that I do um, about helping people set goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Figure out what those goals are, and I we have a lot of fun. My whole thing is to help you laugh at yourself as yeah, quickly as too. possible. Mm -hmm. um, but that we do a lot of goal setting based around that, what do you want to be when you grow yeah. up? I don't care how old you are, what do you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And then what I do is I have a whole process where I set the goals with them mm -hmm. in their words, yes. and then I create a hypnosis recording just for them. It's oh, a very unique end of it. I know. I have some really amazing success stories with that because people love it. In fact, one of my clients that did that, she said, that it was like her own higher self whispering her goals in her ear every time she listened to that recording. Isn't that wonderful? Recording. It's just pr so profound. She actually did do, did uh, make all her goals too, which was yeah. Isn't that wonderful when they do that? Very cool. So you do you do that aspect of it, and I will have them set their goals and deal with the productivity obstacles in setting their goals and really take them and sometimes hands on mm -hmm. go into the office go into the home uh, and physically show them how to do it right you know yeah so uh, we do similar things but in different ways we should just have you know somebody go to all that's why leap yeah you go to all yeah, the yeah. different types different of coaches, coaches and you get a little taste of each yes yeah because but you know at the end of the day too i think that that's why there are so many different flavors of us coaches because I also think that people might go to you for some productivity and then mm -hmm. get that in order and then say, now I need to figure out my life purpose and come to me. And then they might need some business help and they go to somebody like Annie. It's, it's just, it, we provide a transitioning support. That's right. And yeah. so that, that really, it, it, it's, I love the idea of the, the circles. Because the circles, w w like a multidisciplined circle, mm -hmm. where you have different coaches offering different pieces. Yeah. Because we are all multi-layered people. Oh my goodness, yes. Right? For, for me, as a hypnotherapist, I will often work with people with weight. But they yeah. may come and say, wait, but then it's actually really self-esteem and confidence and relationships and yeah. it goes all over the place. And the byproduct ends up being the, the weight. Of course. Right? So it's, that's, that's the thing of, of, of being 
you have to get to all aspects of the issue. And that's what I think coaching does. Mm -hmm. Which brings us nicely into talking a wee bit about the upcoming Find a Coach Expo, <laughs> which we are both We, we are both well, well, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> so Find a Coach Expo is on October 5th. Yes. And um, ten it's... 10 to 4, I think. Yeah, I think it's 10 to 4. Mm -hmm. We'll talk a wee bit more about it when I have my next guest on, um, Annie Tenbalt, who's actually the founder of it. But um, it's really awesome place to come and we're going to have panels so that we can talk mm -hmm. and answer questions about coaching or what, yeah. what each one of us offer and that kind of thing. But also then people can come around the, the booths and actually have conversations with, with each us. crystal. That's yeah. a good way if you're thinking of a coach to really get to know them. And a lot of us are giving away free coaching sessions. Yep. Uh, so you can get a taste of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, so that would be an ideal place to, to talk to different people. Yeah. 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 So if there's pieces in your life that you're not even sure if, if something could be helped with coaching, mm -hmm. this, that would be the place to come to because we'll have just such a, a, a big variety. Of, of the different types yeah, of Yeah, and some really neat ones, some really yeah, interesting some ones really that I've never even heard of. And it's free. The Coach Expo's free, right? Yes. Yep. It's at City Hall mm -hmm. um, on Saturday, October 5th. So do come down and, and, and join us and uh, introduce yourselves. And there's panels. I think I'm on a panel. Yes. And yeah, I have to look, at, look that up and yeah, yes. see what I have to talk about. Okay. And uh, we'd welcome anybody who would like to attend. For sure. And we actually have a call from Judith. I don't know if we have time to talk to her, but let's just, good. So, mm. hello Judith. Hi, Maura and Anne, how are you? Fine, thank you Judith, good and great. how are you? I'm fine, this is Judith Jaworski, and I was one of the very lucky people who was at that summit a couple of weeks ago. Awesome. And you know, when you first mentioned it, Anne, about a year ago, I was really skeptical and said, oh, we're all so <laughs> busy, who's gonna take a full day to sit around and yak with other women. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to tell you, I can hardly wait until the next one. I, awesome. I can't believe how, how much we each got out of that day. Absolutely. And, yeah. and, and we all want to continue talking to each other because we just supported each other. It was fabulous. But my question is, what happens next? When are we going to get together again? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we are going to be having, uh, we're creating coaching circles within the next couple of weeks because a lot of people indicated an interest in uh, creating the coaching circles. And we are setting up monthly meetings. Uh, and our first meeting will be in about two weeks. And um, we're going to have monthly meetings and we're going to, we've been taking a survey as to when people would be uh, more amenable to having the meetings and of course one-third wanted at breakfast, one-third wanted at lunch and one-third wanted at dinner. <laughs> so we'll have to figure out what we're going to do but uh, that will be for everybody to get together if they want and then for to bring friends and for new people to um, come and experience the LEAP experience. So really building that tribe. Yes. That's what I said earlier. <laughs> And thank you, Judith, for calling, yes, and I'm glad you much, uh, enjoyed it, and you really participated very well. I've seen all your pictures on Facebook. <laughs> yes, so. well, it was quite the day. You know, I'm a realtor, and already I've picked up a, a, um, a client as a result Fabulous. of that day, so I'm going to sell somebody's home for them, so it was great. Good. But anyway, thank congratulations, Anne, for doing it. Um, it, it just was a, a magnificent, magnificent experience. Thank That's you awesome. so Thanks much. Thanks so much, Judith. <laughs> and we we'll are now going to go on to break. Stay tuned.